Hello, and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 1, Create an App and Database, and this video covers Section 3, Create a New Object. Now we're going to look at creating a new object called Invoices to go along with the Merchandise object we created previously. So first click Setup, then Create, Objects. Now click New Custom Object and for the label enter Invoice. For the plural label enter Invoices and make sure to check the box starts with vowel sound. This lets Salesforce know whether to use A or AN before the name of this object. You don't need to enter a description but change the record name to invoice number. The data type is auto number. This tells Salesforce to automatically create a number for each record. And for the display format, enter INV dash bracket four zeros and a close bracket. This tells it the format that the number should be created in. And let's enter a starting number of zero although we could start it at one or any other number we wanted. Now click Allow Reports in case you want to run reports on this in the future. Click Launch New Custom Tab Wizard after saving this custom object and click Save. Now click the magnifying glass next to Tab Style and choose Form. Then click Next Click Next again. Now we only want to show this tab in the Warehouse app, so click here to clear all the checkboxes and just check the box next to Warehouse and click Save. Now the new Invoices tab is visible along the top. But it would make more sense if these two tabs were next to each other, which we can do. So click Apps. Then next to Warehouse, click Edit. Now click Invoices under Selected Tabs and the, click the Up button until it's right under Merchandise. And then click Save. Now you can see that the two tabs are right next to each other. For this invoice object to be useful, we're going to have to give it some fields beyond the standard fields. So click Objects then click Invoice. Now under Custom Fields and Relationships, click New. The first field we're going to create will have a type of pick list, which is essentially a drop-down list. Click Next. And for the field label, call it Status. In the next box, we'll enter all the possible options that can be chosen for this field. First enter open, then on the next line closed, then negotiating, and finally pending. Check use first value as default value, and under help text type in choose a value from the drop-down list. then click Next. Click Next again, and finally click Save. Now let's try creating some invoices. Click the Invoices tab, and then click New. The only field we have so far is Status. Let's leave it at Open, and then click Save. Now click the Invoices tab, and you'll see the invoice we've just created. Remember, the number was created automatically by Salesforce according to the formula we specified. Click New again. This time, let's change the status to Closed, and then click Save. Now click the Invoices tab again, and you can see both invoices, numbered sequentially, automatically. In our next video, we'll cover Section 5, Relate Objects. 
Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.